Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Spoiler Alert, and thank you for watching. Spoiler Alert, guys, is a simple platforming game with a bit of a unique twist on it all. You start at the end, and you make your way backwards. It released on Steam June 2014, and it was developed by Megafuzz and published by Tiny Build. You can go ahead and get Spoiler Alert right now on Steam for $6.39 during its first week sale, or $7.99 normally. Now games like this have been around guys, uh, Retrograde being an obvious point of reference, that's another game where you had to do things backwards, and that's basically your entire goal in this game is to undo what you have done. Which sounds easy, right? And I mean it has easy controls and the difficulty is kind of going backwards, so you would think that, but it's not necessarily the case. Uh, games like this, it really reminds me of Ares Action, where you kind of have to kind of like flip your perception about what you're doing in platformers. You're kind of avoiding gold coins uh, instead of running into them. You're uh, running you know, below f fallen spikes or running onto spikes because they're going to shoot upwards and not hit you. It, it's just, it's twisted, it's fun, and it really has an over-the-top soundtrack and art style, guys. So let's check it out. Let's get into the nitty-gritty here. Of course, because everything's about doing everything backwards, you start at World 3 and your goal is to make it to World 1. Because again, you're doing this backwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the game off here. This is just the first level here, just to give you an idea of what their the spiel of the game is like. And basically, what you're doing right here is you're actually heading towards the end of the game, and then everything starts going backwards. Like through here, this is the boss, Mr. Death Bunny. Come to get Princess Have you? Just give it up right now. You will not get her. We kill him in one shot. Mr. B Death Bunny is dead. We make our way forward. Probably hump the princess with our weird uh, jalapeno penis. Um, Princess Tomato, how'd you get past Mr. Death Bunny? Ah, uh, no challenge for strong like chili like me. Now come on, Princess Tomato, you're coming with me. And there you go. He takes this princess away, and God knows what's happened. Okay, now we gotta beat the game backwards. Well, uh, once the credits reverse like that. And now uh, everything starts going backwards, guys. As you can imagine, we put her down, and the entire game, even the rain's going backwards. Everything is going backwards officially. We need to unkill Mr. Death Bunny here. He gets back up, yells at us, we walk away, and that's basically how the game starts. And now we kind of, you saw that first section, we kind of need to start uncollecting the gold coins. If we don't, a, ter a time paradox forms and basically we kind of have to restart the entire board over again. And we may not necessarily get a perfect score. For instance, normally your instincts would be to grab these gold coins. But you don't want to. You didn't grab them last time you were here. So don't do that. You want to uncollect gold coins. You want to unsquash things. You want to undo things. And it's just that kind of perception flipping that really just screws with your head. Yes, the controls are rather simple. For instance, I just did Time Paradox right there. The controls are rather simple, basically. You really only have Jump and the Z button, basically, that do things in this game, basically. Because sometimes, a little bit later in the, in the game, we'll get access to a... Um, I guess it's almost like helmets, uh, basically, that did things for us when we were playing the game forwards. Or you should say, when Mr. Chili Pepper Man here was going through the game. Like, he had one that shot fire, uh, he had one that lets you roll, uh, he had one that lets you do hammers. Basically, there's one per world, basically. But in this game now, you need to undo what the, those things have done. So you need to catch the fire, you need to catch the hammers, you need to roll backwards. And it's just kind of the twisted uh, perception flip that you need to do in this type of game. This is what I was talking about. This is the helmet I was talking about right there. And now we need to start catching the fire in our mouths that we shot. So like, oh, I missed that one. Oh, did I catch it? Okay, cool. I caught it. And basically, yeah, you basically go through the boards. The boards are rather short. They're not too difficult. Um, they just are kind of require exact timing and jumping skills as it gets more and more difficult as you obviously go farther and farther backwards. So there we go, we got all the fire in our mouths. Doing pretty good so far. Now we gotta jump and catch that fire like so. And then basically every time you complete a board it'll give you your, how long it took you to beat, your rating basically, because you can imagine the more time, time paradoxes you create and you screw up, uh, you'll get a lesser grade essentially. Oh, like, see how that can be just kind of complicated right there. That was just kind of a sticky wicket of a board. We need to up avoid that gold coin, for instance, which I did not just do a very good job of. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, okay. We're not going to get a gold on this one. We're going to get a silver, but we did pretty good there nonetheless. And basically, the game does have several kind of game modes. There's a, a time attack mode, a speed running mode, I should say. Uh, so that way you can kind of test how fast you're going and how well you're doing at the game. Um, I wasn't paying attention there, and I actually did pretty damn good. <laughs> And yes, the entire game is just going backwards, and it's kind of hilarious the way all the mechanics work in this game, guys. It's just twisted and weird, and I kind of like these types of games. I like games that flip your perception. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I died. Can I make this jump? Nope. Can I make... I, beaver? Beaver! I made that one at least, that's fine. And the art style is kind of hilarious, and twisted, and weird, and... Things are now rolling backwards at us, um, and the music's kind of hilarious. It's just a weird game all in all, to be honest with you. Uh, the game has its origins, I think, in a game jam, basically. It was kind of an idea from a game jam that was basically taken, perfected, added to, and basically turned into a full-fledged game, which is pretty awesome. I love when games do that kind of thing, is where you find a really good idea, and you're really passionate about it, and a lot of people like it, and suddenly they turn into like full-fledged games. There's a lot of games that have come out like that that I've really enjoyed. So you see we gotta go backwards jumping on the mushrooms and collecting coins. There's a hundred levels for you guys to go through here. Four worlds. Uh, I think there's even bonus content that gives you access to more stuff. Uh, the game even has a freaking level editor, guys. If you want to make your own levels, you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, M here. Because I already played this world, as you can see. I've basically cleared it. So we're going to go back to an earlier world. Let's go to world one. What the hell? Uh, and this could be kind of spoilerific because it could show you the end of the game. But I just wanted to give you an example of the things you got to do. Like you got to catch your hammers in this one. And avoid spikes. Oh no, we might have missed it though. Oh, good lord. So just to give you an idea of how complicated it can get now. Oh god, I got to avoid those spikes, man. At this point, it's just it gets kind of difficult because you need to start timing your jumps pretty much dead on perfectly. As you can see, I'm causing paradoxes because I'm not catching my hammers. There we go, perfect. Oh, I didn't get that, that coin though, damn it. Okay, we're doing pretty good though. Okay, now we just gotta jump. Oh, I missed the jump, stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll get it this time. We'll get it for sure this time. We're not going to get gold in this one, but that's okay because you can repeat the boards pretty much instantaneously. They reload rather quickly. This is just World 3, though, by the way. So as you can imagine, things kind of get crazy. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly the way it was supposed to go. We got we created eight time paradoxes. It took us about 15 seconds to beat that board. Oh, I missed that jump completely. Okay, where we go. We dodged that one. Probably gonna be another one though, if I had to guess. Okay, apparently not. We might be able to get silver on this one. Yeah, we got silver, sweet. And this is just, this is definitely nearing the end of the game, guys, as you can imagine. Well, I should say the beginning of the game, actually. It should, I should say I'm nearing the beginning of the game. Uh, we're gonna have to catch this hammer, bounce, and avoid that gold coin like so. That's pretty freaking awesome, I have to say. Sometimes we need to resurrect enemies like so. Oh god! I wasn't expecting that, that wasn't fair. Jump! Alright! And now we basically, because we're going backwards, we lost our uh, catching of uh, hammerhead powers. Oh, I created a time paradox. Gosh dang it. And that's basically it. This is, you have to kind of plan your jumps almost exactly. Oh gosh dang it. That's a hard jump right there. Uh, almost exactly almost on time because otherwise you could miss your jump and uh, do what I keep doing, which is screw it up apparently. So let's keep the team moving on here. I'm hoping we can get this jump done. Here we go. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna get gold in it. We got silver. Uh, there's other different kinds of you know anomalous things to avoid, guys. Oh crap! We created a time paradox. Crap, Ola. Like this one like is like a slippery floor that makes you go faster. Um, and you kind of have to avoid these. Oh my god, that was ridiculously hard. I kind of killed him, that was stupid of me. Yeah, there we go, alright, and then we gotta resurrect this guy. 
And then we're gonna jump! Oh, come on, man! That's a hard jump right there. As you can see, it's not always easy, guys. It's definitely hard. Okay, we're just gonna jump right there. Jump! Right there. Jump! Right there. Perfect! And we did that one. We got bronze. It's not great. Uh, but you can go back and kind of see what I mean by you have to avoid the spike. You have to run towards spikes on the floor because they're going to go up. They're not going to hit you. Oh, God. Dang it. This one's a little bit easier. Come on, we can do this. I can't get my instincts say jump over spikes. It's so just... Ugh. That's that's the, just the challenge of this game for me is just flipping your perceptions on things, you know? Oh my goodness, this has to be done exactly right. Otherwise, yeah, you get hit by that and you die. That was a little bit interesting right there. Bounce off that guy, jump. Um, perfect, and we made it through that one. I think in one shot, actually. We did that one perfect. Uh, we killed him. That was an idiot. That was an idiotic move. How are you supposed to do this? All right, I'm thinking here. Let me see. All right, there we go. Oh my goodness, that looks redonkulous. Some of these levels can get very challenging, as you can see here. We just have to plan this jump perfectly. There we go. It looks like Reptar there from uh, Rugrats, isn't it? Oh my god, oh my god, ah! Oh. Okay, come on, jump, jump, okay, and hit the mushroom, yes, yes, excellent, and jump, yes, fantastic. And we should be getting close here to the first level, right? Ah, we're, get, we're kind of far away still. The game does come with a fully built-in level editor, guys, you can make your own custom levels, uh, and download custom levels if you wanted to, I think off of the Steam Workshop. Let's see if we can find out where do we make our custom levels. Uh, that would be right here. Well, you can make your own types of boards. You can like, oh, I want mushrooms and stuff. Or clickety. Clickety. Okay. All the tick. And then you can place you know, things around here and make your own custom levels for you to share with your friends. You can have different kinds of mushrooms, uh, items, enemies, uh, forests, stars, backgrounds, the whole thing. And then you can, like, I think you can test it, right? Yeah. There you go. Space bar. Take your level to the test. Okay, wait. There you go. Test run. Test run it. No. Test run it. No. No. Test run it. There you go. <laughs> I put it right on top of a spike. I don't think he's able to make this one. Nope. Totally can't. <laughs> As you can see, though, you can make your own custom levels, guys. It's pretty sweet. I'm not going to save this crap. I'm going to cancel. Um, do I have no choice but to save at this point? No, I don't want to save it. Uh, it was a terrible level. I take it back. I don't want to do it. Oh, you can also add the dragon mask, the roller helmet, and the hammerhead helmet, which is pretty cool. That's fine. We'll just save for now. I don't really care. Uh, we'll say, please, it's called Martyr. Dude, it's called... Oh, there you go. <laughs> and we can read up, play with it later on, and check that all out. Oh, we can just hit escape. That's how we do that. My bad. There is achievements in the game also. There's uh, all that good stuff. Steam cards, Steam achievements, all that good stuff that you may want. There is bonus content, like I said, that you can only get access to once you beat the three main worlds, guys. It also lists VR support as one of its features. So I don't know if that means Oculus Rift support or what, guys, but it's listed there and I thought I should mention it. So, guys, yeah, the game's wacky. It's not exactly what you would expect. It's fun. It makes you scratch your head sometimes as you kind of have to undo that programming that Nintendo left in all of our minds and you have to kind of shift your perception. I, I like these types of games. I think uh, deconstructing games in this fashion and forcing you to kind of confront habits is a brilliant idea. So go ahead and check this game out, guys. I haven't found any bugs. It runs well and controls respond perfectly as they should in this type of platforming game. But I also think there really isn't all that much that you can add to this game. The only gripe I have with the game in all actuality is a lack of resolution control. That's basically, but that's coming more from a, a filming content creator point of view though, as the game looks perfectly fine on my monitor and the resolution really doesn't bother me all that much. Uh, and with the level editor, you guys have endless permutations of levels to enjoy and perfect and play. So you also have plenty of replay value here too, guys. 
Big thanks to the developer and publisher for a chance to review this game. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll keep bringing you guys awesome games, guys. Till next time, play more indie games.